Hello and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name's Terry Danich Kimiak II, still don't have a green screen, and it's about 85 degrees inside my house. Alright, welcome back to another wonderful episode. Like I said in the introduction, it is 85 degrees. Actually, it might be up to like 87. It bounces around because we don't have air condition and Western Pennsylvania decided that it wanted to be warm today. So um, I've had to turn my fans off so I can do my recording. So it's only going to get warmer while I do this recording. Uh, if you are new to my vidcast, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you hate what I'm doing, that's fine. Leave a comment. Uh, I respond to almost everybody in the comment section, as long as I see them, uh, recently had somebody comment once and then delete that comment and comment again. So I was unable to delete his first com or to, um, comment on his first comment because he did delete it. But as long as you don't delete your comment, I will comment back. Um, we are continuing our Procreate series, our updated Procreate. I do want to note that uh, Krita 3.0 is out, so I am going to be looking at doing some uh, look-sees into that. I used Krita a while back. It's a free program for the desktop, uh, but uh, we're going we're gonna to play with that in the next couple of weeks as well. All right, let's, uh, let's continue on here. You see my little girl here. She's, uh, she's chilling. Just did a pencil drawing. And what we're going to be looking at is our erase and our smudge tools. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna grab a color. Let's grab a skin tone. Uh, fairly innocuous. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Yep, that'll work. Zoom in, increase the size a little bit. I'm gonna lay down our base color on her skin tone. Now the great thing about this uh, one of the reasons I love digital is if I go out the lines, I can always erase. So, and again, I'm doing this on a different layer than my pencil sketch. And usually, honestly, what I would usually do is I'd ink this first and then paint. Uh, or if I wasn't going to be inking, if I was going for a fairly natural look, I just would uh, leave the pencil and then reduce the opacity. I'm leaving the opacity up right now just so you guys can see. And finishing that up, you'll notice I went outside the lines in some places. That's on purpose to look at the eraser tool. Uh, now we're going to grab a second color, add a little shadow, take it to the red a little bit. And we're just going to take some shadow in here. You notice it's a very hard shadow. That's on purpose because we're going to be using the smudge tool here in just a second. Leave that in there. All right. So the thing with the smudge tool and the eraser tool is they are almost no different than the brush tool. So if we were to look at this, uh, go into the same tool that we've been using, the painting round brush in the smudge, and we open it, you'll see it is literally the same types of settings. You got stroke, you got shape, you got grain, you got you got a little bit of everything. Okay. One of the quick notes that I didn't mention last week, somebody pointed out, is that if you move your finger or stylus around in the area up here, you can actually see what your brush stroke is going to look like. So I'm doing all that up top right now. It's a lot of fun. Uh, just something that... Uh, uh, one of my viewers commented on, I was like, oh, yeah, I don't use it that often, but uh, I should probably tell people about that. Thanks. All right. So you can see this. So we're not going to go through all the settings again. I'm not going to explain all those. We've already seen them. Uh, but we are going to, I'm going to, well, we'll start with the round brush. And you'll see that using the round brush as a smudge tool is not the greatest. Ooh, I went too quick there. Let's reduce my size a little bit. And you'll see that it, it's okay but definitely not one of my favorites. Okay, so we're going to undo all that. Remember, undo is two fingers tapping your screen. Okay, so instead what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the other things that we have available here. So let's grab the airbrush and let's try a medium brush. Let's see what that does. Ooh, a little blur effect. Still not what I want. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Let's go into our, where are you at? Let's try organic. Let's try clay. I'm going to bring up the opacity. Again, it's okay, but it just feels more like it's blurring than actual smudging. Let's try the sable here. Ooh, okay. I'm going to take that size down a little bit. If you're looking for the painterly effect, get some nice stuff going here. As you can see. Okay. Or say something simple like some gouache. Too big. Take down my size. Okay, now one of the things you got to be aware of when using the smudge tool is that if you accidentally pull into the white area of your canvas, it does pick up white. So what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to pull in the hair area. I'm going to pull in and you'll see there's a little bit of white there. Okay, so you have to be careful with that. Uh, I mean, again, one of the great things about digital is that you can undo. Uh, one of the things that I like to do when I'm using the smudge is I do little circles. Uh, it just it feels like it creates a better texture. Zoom out a little bit. So if I come in here and just do circles. And it's funny because I do circles on a lot of the digital paint programs that I use. Um, one of the things you can also do is take down your opacity and you'll get a slightly different effect. So there, see how it's starting to get a little more realistic? It's because I've taken my opa opacity down. Opacity. Apparently I can't talk today. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. For any of you guys who are sci-fi people... Did you know that Battlestar Galactica, the new series, is back on Hulu? I was so excited. Yep, I'm going to talk about dorky things because that's how I am. I'm just smoothing out all of these areas. Take my size up a little bit. Do you see how you get it? Look at how nice and smooth that is. Now, not everybody wants to do smooth, right? Okay, so I understand that. Uh, this is just one of the things. If you're Again, if I take my opacity back up, it can end up being a little harder. Okay. I hate above the eye area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag from the peach into the pink. And that cleans that up a little bit. All right, so the eraser tool does the exact same thing. So if we click on the eraser tool, uh, I've got a textured one chosen right now. We come in here and we start to erase. Now my opacity is not at 100%. That's why it's going to take me a couple passes to get through this area that I'm in right now. If, so we're going to go to the eye area here, I take my opacity to 100%. It disappears heck of a lot quicker. Okay, so adjusting the opacity will have an effect on both the eraser tool and your uh, smudge tool. Okay, I feel like I need to give her a color in her eyes real quick. Too big and too saturated. That's better. All right. I 
again, we can grab our eraser tool. Too big right now, so we're going to reduce the size. Now again, you can start to see the texture. Now well, it's a little pixelated because I'm zoomed in. But here, I'll zoom out and just do it across. You can start to see the texture that is brought in because of the eraser tool that I've chosen, the actual brush. Okay. All right. So that's it for the eraser and the smudge tool. This is a very quick episode this week. Next week, we're going to get into layers, and there's a ton of stuff to talk about layers. And then we've got the color picker. Okay, and then we then we we start to wind down on the big tools here in Procreate. What that means is I'm I've already started thinking about where I'm moving next. I'm going to be moving to Krita 3.0. Krita is a desktop desktop application, and it is a free application, free to download. Uh, they do take donations because uh, they work very hard with this application. So that's what we're going to be working with next. Uh, if you have a desktop tablet like a Wacom or Wacom. Wacom, Wacom, different people say it different ways. I think Wacom is another version. Yeah, if you have uh, a tablet, make sure you check out Krita. The 3.0 version is out. A lot of improvements. They've really enhanced it. Really excited about where it's going. And um, if you have any questions for me, definitely make sure that you check uh, or leave a message here on the YouTube page or if you're watching this on the website at www.thedigitalpainter.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. And uh, hopefully next week, it isn't in the 90s during Sunday. Uh, apparently, it's only on Sundays that it happens uh, or on days that I record. So, uh, so yeah, take care. Keep on painting. And I'll see you soon.